Hi guys, it's Matt again for Make and Matt. Today is something kind of interesting to show you. Let's go check it out on Make and Matt. First off, I'm going to show it to you working. Okay, that's that. So over here we have our handle, and uh, we have this little piece over here that connects to the handle, and it connects to this gear. So when I turn the handle, it turns this gear. Um, then we have this scotch yoke over here that's in blue, and it's driven by a cam that's on the gear. This gear over here turns this other gear over here, which has a cam on it, and another scotch yoke. So when I turn this, the scotch yokes go up and down um, at different times as you will see like so over here in the black we have our rocker arm um, and connected to it are two pawls one for pulling and this one over here is for pushing so when I turn this thing they are, they, as you can see they are going up and down this one over here is pushing and this one over here is pulling. Then they just slide right over top of the ratchet on one of the strokes and then get back to work again. Just like that. So um, it uses four bearings, one for each of these gears, one for this rocker arm, and another one for this ratchet wheel at the back. Um, you're going to need a few nails or some sort of something that will work as a peg. Um, you're going to need one here, 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 and another one for this ratchet wheel at the back. Um, you will probably need super glue. Um, it's very strong and I find it works very well for 3D printing purposes, I use it to secure this black piece and this black piece and this black piece just to hold this these scotch yokes in place. Um, and you might need them for a few other connections like here and here. Um, it is printed in 0.2 millimeter uh, layer heights um, and it does not need support, or most of the pieces do not need support. There is one piece that does need support, and that is the main frame. Um, it, is a bit, it is a bit of a hassle to pull out, but you definitely need it to make this. Um, and I must say, it is definitely worth it to get this mechanism working. So, um, the white pieces are printed in PLA, the blue pieces are uh, ABS, and the green and black pieces are printed in PLA+. Plus. And that was this entire thing was printed on my Annette A8 um, and my FYZU20. So about why did I come up with Matt's useless thing? Well as you can see it doesn't do much. Um, I turn it and it basically turns rotational motion into more rotational motion at the back. So it is kind of useless but it is very cool to see and it might be a conversational starter even. Um, how I started out, how I designed this um, was interesting too. I just wanted to make the mechanism uh, that has a rocker arm and the ratchet wheel at the back. Um, and I was like, oh, I need something to move this rocker arm up and down. So I came up with a scotch yoke. And then I was like, oh, a good way to connect the two scotch yokes together was a gear. So it started with a simple mechanism and turned into a few mechanisms which is kind of interesting. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you haven't seen my other videos, make sure to check them out. And thanks again for watching. Bye.